were once very close, weren't you, Perez? But you had a public falling out on Twitter. So just tell us what happened. Well, actually, all the drama went down in Australia. <laughs> uh, back in the summer, back in the summer of 2011, I went down to Sydney to hang out with her and also she was taking part in this special that I was filming for television, an hour with her. Uh, and one night I set up uh, uh, cooking with Gaga at a house that I had rented out there and she proceeded to get obliterated drunk. <laughs> she was drinking Jameson and she oh. was actually a surprisingly functioning drunk woman. Uh, I was very sober and we'd been talking for over an hour. I asked her one question that upset her. That question was about her single at the time, Judas. I said, you know, do you feel that some of the controversy around the song is unwarranted? That maybe people aren't even listening to the lyrics and just the title is pissing them off? And then the fact that I even asked her that and that I framed it in such a way made her really angry. Because at the time, back in September of 2011, she was at the top of her game, pretty untouchable. And most, actually all reporters, had to submit questions ahead of time if they were going to interview her. Mm -hmm. I didn't because we were friends. So I asked her that. She didn't want to answer. Or she might have answered it but really didn't go into detail because she got upset. Then I asked her another question that also upset her. Maybe that was my mistake as an interviewer following that question up with another one that could have potentially not been an easy one. I, I, but my one question that I followed it up with, which wasn't even a negative one, was what is it like dating you? You know, your boyfriend isn't famous and you are, you know, like the most famous pop star in the world right now. Mm -hmm. And the fact that I even brought up that she had a boyfriend made her livid and she stormed off the set and stopped the interview. And Whoa. then I was supposed to film with her the next day and the day after and she refused to film. And then, you know, we got on the phone and I was crying because she thought I was like setting her up. I'm like, I'm your friend. Like, why would you even think that? Like, why would your brain go there? And those weren't even hard or difficult questions. And you could have just not answered them. But instead, she had to storm off and be so dramatic. And, you know, it made me really question and reevaluate my entire friendship with her. You know, now I feel like the whole time she was really just using me because I knew her back in 2008 at the very beginning before she was famous. Yeah. And I would have still been her friend now, even if she wasn't famous. Perez, do you think it was... So your... that's in a nutshell. Yeah, right. Yeah. Do, do you think it was your question, though, that upset her or was it the Jamisons? Was it the fact that she'd been yeah. drinking? No, I ask this seriously. Yeah, it really could make you angry. No, I think... I think it was fame that just poisoned her you know what's funny is that she has this album called the fame monster it's her second album and she became consumed by that which she was fascinated about you know fame can be a very deadly drug and it has damaged her personally i mean the manager that helped helped make her famous she and he parted ways recently her longtime creative director and choreographer lorian gibson she and her parted ways after 2011 the head of a and r who was her a and r person who would co-write songs with her she parted ways with him because she became this monster herself and publicly became super nice ha have you tried to make it up with her though Chris? have you tried person. to reach out to her and say look no we need to make this up now. i have zero really? interest no i don't really? want to be her friend i don't need friends like that in my life what about her latest albums and and what's been happening to her recently because as you said she was impervious for a long time and seemed to be untouchable she seems a bit more touchable now what do you think of her latest stuff i think that she unfortunately has become a victim of this character that she created. Whereas instead of just being an artist, she became this freak and this cartoon character and so unrelatable to people. And when she should be toning it down and being normal-ish and not, you know, dressing so crazily, she's just continued to do that. And also it stopped being effective. It's like people are immune to that and they're like, oh, Gaga dressing like a freak again? Who cares? You know, the thing that makes Katy Perry so successful is A, she can check her ego at the door. She wants hit songs, so she is willing to collaborate with hit songwriters. 
proven hit makers. Gaga doesn't want to work with those people. She wants to work with the new people, the up and coming, not the lame Dr. Luke or the lame Stargate. And she refuses to listen to people. She refuses to listen to, you know, her manager, her advisors, and she thinks that she's infallible. And as has been proven these last 12 months now, she's very fallible.